What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Nick with Leverage Media. And today I want to talk to you about step four of eight of the 100 day plan in the Never Lose a Customer Again book, uh, Activate. So uh, you've been hearing me talk a lot about it, uh, Never Lose a Customer Again. Joey Coleman and I are going to be uh, doing a live training on Tuesday, May 5th at 7 p.m. Central. Go to neverloseapatientagain.com to uh, register. And uh, we're going to be walking through the whole eight-step process uh, with a chiropractic practice in mind uh, so that you can follow along and build out your patient experience. So uh, this activate stage is, is an important one. I mean, they're all important, but th these, especially in a practice, I think these first, uh, the first six of the eight are just like vital, vital, vital. And step four is so important because this is the moment when they start coming in for their regular visits. So we talked about uh, steps one, two, and three. Step one is where they were assessing. They were trying to decide if, uh, if you were the right choice. Admit was when they decide to sign up for care. Um, and then, um, oh shoot, now I forgot what the third one was. Uh, affirm, sorry. Uh, affirm was when they uh, get into that buyer's remorse. Uh, piece. And then the fourth step is going to be activate. This is where they're going to start their care plan, uh, coming in for their regular visits, getting into rhythm. So uh, this is an important step because you want to kick off the relationship. You really want to propel it forward. Um, they may be a little bit confused, you know, especially if you have, maybe say you have a high volume practice where people are, you know, getting into hot seats and kind of moving around a lot and everybody seems to know what they're doing making sure that they understand what is their role in their care, uh, what is it that they need to be doing, how do they check in, how do they check out, are they, are they paying as they go, are they uh, on a care plan, did they prepay, you know, just there's, there's all these questions that they may have that you need to make sure that you answer on that first visit. So this step is really the time where you can um, deliver that shock and awe, shock and awe effect. So shock and awe can either be done through mail, it can be done in person, it can be done with an experience. A lot of times it's, it's, a, a, you know, it's a package that gets sent uh, to a customer, to a patient, um, that's really like a wow, that, that de delivers to them uh, something that's gonna help them. This is, this is another thing that, uh, that I want you to, to remember. If, you if you've ever heard the, or ever, ever read the book Giftology uh, by John Rulin, what he talks about, if you are going to do some type of shock and off, you are going to do some type of gifting strategy that to make sure that the, that the gift is something that is useful for them, that helps them with the thing that they care about, not, you know, a, a mug that has your logo on it, right? Uh, a book that allows them to uh, learn how to, you know, like how to have an anti-inflammatory diet, right? And maybe they talked about that in day one, day two. Maybe there's a, a th three or four different common themes that come up in your day in one day two process. Maybe you deliver them a, a book, maybe you have four books for those four uh, different conversations and you deliver them a, a book that is relevant to that conversation. So uh, that would be a lot more uh, useful to them than say, you know, a t-shirt from your practice. So the other part that I think is important for the activate stage is to really lay out a plan for what the next, you know, usually month, two months, maybe 12 visits, whenever you do uh, your first re-exam, this is a great opportunity to really explain to them what is it that they should be expecting um, on, these, on these next, this next stage of their care. So this is the initial stage of care. This is gonna be where they're coming in the practice the most. Um, this is gonna be so important for them to, to activate the, the right way. Um, I also think that this is a great time for uh, new patient orientations, um, uh, you know, uh, better results faster class, you know, something to where uh, it gives them the information that you want them to have that maybe you don't always have the time to go as deep with uh, once you are into the regular rhythm of seeing them. That's what those new patient orientation classes are so great for, you know, all of the old school docs that, uh, that really built huge practices whenever you hear them talk about it, that's like the most important thing that they talk about. I would imagine that most uh, coaching programs still really encourage that. I know in our, in, in, in my coaching program that I'm a part of, um, that that is a, that's a big part of that activate stage is, is getting them into a room where you get to talk to them about the chiropractic lifestyle versus just coming in for, you know, a three to five minute adjustment 
three times a week for four weeks. So, uh, so be sure that you're activating uh, that, that patient the right way, that they're getting into good habits right away. And uh, if you want to find out more about not only Activate, but the other seven of the eight steps, uh, join us on Tuesday, May 5th at 7 p.m. Uh, go to neverloseapatientagain.com to register. And Joey Coleman and I are going to be going through uh, the eight steps for a chiropractic practice and, and building out that, that new patient experience and that existing patient ex experience. So uh, excited to have you guys on there. And uh, we'll see you on step number five.